What is up guys, SP coming at you with another Open Emu tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to get your PlayStation 1 games to run inside of Open Emu. First thing you need to do is head on over to openemu.org, link's going to be in the description. Go to the download now section, hit that drop down arrow, and make sure that you guys download the Open Emu Experimental Bundle because the standard starter pack does not include the PlayStation 1 emulator in order to run these PlayStation 1 games. So once you've downloaded and installed the Open Emu Experimental Pack, go on over to the App Store and download the Unarchiver. It's a free app, doesn't cost you anything, and what it's going to do is it's going to allow us to unzip these files needed in order to run the PlayStation 1 games. So once you have those two things installed, head on over to this site right here, and the link will be in the description for this site, and this is going to provide us with the PlayStation BIOS package. Open Emu naturally doesn't run PlayStation games as of right now, so we're going to have to manually place them in there in order to run. So head on over to the site, click the download file button, it's going to take you to another window, hit this download file button, and in the download section, it's going to appear. I'm going to go show in Finder and drag this over to the desktop so that I know exactly where it is. So once we've done that, go ahead and launch Open Emu. Make sure that you guys have the Sony PlayStation tab selected when you're doing all of this. So since we have it selected and we have our PlayStation BIOS file right here, right click it, open with the Unarchiver. It's gonna zip it out, make a file for us, and you wanna open up the folder and we wanna find SCPH 5500. So once we found that one, we wanna click on it and just drag it into the window right there. Next, we want to find SCPH5502. Once we found that, drag it right inside of there. And this part's a little tricky. You want to right click the file that says SCPH5552. Right click it, click copy, and then paste. Now that we have it pasted, we want to rename this SCPH5501. Hit enter, and then drag the file that we just pasted and renamed into Open Emu. So now that we have the BIOS inside of Open Emu, it can actually read a game now. So what I recommend doing next is heading on over to CoolROM.com, and just for this example, I'm gonna download Crash Bandicoot. And so once you've gone down here, go to Download Now. It's gonna open up a new window, and after 15 or so seconds, it's gonna say Download Now, it will be in the download section. And what I've done is I've dragged it over to the desktop right here. It might take a while, because it's a pretty large file, so pause this video, go download it, and then come back, take it from here. So what we want to do now is right click the Crash Bandicoot .7z file that we just downloaded from CoolRong.com, open with the Unarchiver. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna open up and unzip it, make a brand new folder for us, and show the files needed in order to run the game. So let's just wait until this thing opens. It's it's a very large file, so it's gonna take a while. And if you guys have any comments, questions, this is a good time since this is downloading, feel free to just put it in the comment section because I will answer any questions thrown my way the best that I possibly can. So feel free to put that in the comment section and I will get back to you within a few days, hopefully. But yeah, let's, let's go, keep downloading. This is pretty much just a waiting game. Okay, and once it's created a new folder for us, you wanna drag the entire folder into Open Emu. It's gonna scan the game, and what it's doing right now is reading the information for the game in order to run it. And there it is right there, it even has the artwork for us. So. Click on it, double click, it's gonna open up, and this video standard mismatch is fine, don't worry, you've done everything right if you've gotten to this point. But what it's doing right now is it's, it's opening up the PlayStation emulator the best way that it can. And you can hear that music in the background too, so you know it's working if you hear that. And here we go. Sony Computer Entertainment America presents. I'm just gonna skip this. 
if I can. I think, oh, they don't even allow you to skip it. But as you guys can see, Crash Bandicoot is working on our open emu. It's a PlayStation 1 game, and I know this was pretty hard for most people. It was, it was hard for me for a few months, but figured it out, got it up here, and hopefully this can help you guys out, and here we go. Crash Bandicoot, one of my favorite PlayStation 1 games of all time. Just the whole series is amazing. But anyway, guys, if you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like before you head out. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm Espy, and I will see you next time.